submission 1976 on a 1940 France just before the great invasion Ellen is a pharmacist who is married to a dull professor Henry and has a teenage daughter Justin she is an attractive woman but has let a patient fall dormant one evening the pharmacy clerk Armand makes a pass at her when he thinks she is Juliet another employee Soon she let the patient overtake her and she begins an affair with him. But he soon start making ever growing demand to her, forcing her to have love under the pharmacy counter and undress in front of a female employee of the pharmacy. Among other demand effectively turning her into his love queen. When she finally let herself admit her submission to him, he demand her teenage daughter to prove she do anything for him. Viajo celebrity presents top 10 movies like Submission. Number 10. Delta of Venus 1995. Set in Paris, France in 1940. In the early days of World War II. Before the German invasion and conquest of France, Elena Martin is a young American writer struggling to get by in Paris while searching for inspiration for her first novel. Elena meets and has a sordid affair with a fellow American expatriate named Lawrence Walters. With some encouragement from her friends, her lover and her publisher, Elena gets involved in modeling and progresses onward through many other forms of voyeuristic and participatory love adventures. As she further researches for inspiration to write her book, and become an author of love fiction. It's one of director Jalman King's 90s adventures. It's ridiculous, overwrought cheese. Odie England has an amazing look but not much acting range. This is love romance with a pretentious artistic band. This is inspired by Anaya's Nin's work during that time. Number 9. The P. Life in the drug forest of New Zealand North Island is not all she may have imagined and nor is her relationship with her new husband Stuart. She suffers torment and loss when Stuart sells her piano to a neighbor George. Number 8. The Last Metro 1980 It's late 1942 in Nazi-occupied Paris. The theatres are still busy in part because they are one of the few places which still have reliable heating. One of those theatres is the Montmartre which was formerly owned and directed by the renowned Lucas Steiner, a Jew who fled the country to unknown part to avoid persecution and probable concentration camp imprisonment. The theatre is now owned by its lead act Marion Steiner, Lucas' gentile wife. They are mounting a new production called The Disappearance which was staged by Lucas before his departure. The play is being directed by Lucas' assistant Jean Loeb Cottins using the note left by Lucas. In the lead roles are Marion and Bernard Gregor, who is new to the company. Bernard seems primarily interested in love most particularly with Arlette, the company's costume designer, who doesn't give him the time of day. The one woman Bernard doesn't seem interested in is Marion. Bernard and Marion have a strictly professional relationship and they work well on stage. Number 7. Henry and June 1990 In 1931 Paris, Anais Nin meets Henry Miller and his wife June. Intrigued by them both, she began expanding her love horizon with her husband Hugo as well as with Henry and others. June settled between Paris and New York trying to find acting jobs. While Henry worked on his first major work, Tropic of Cancer, a pseudo-biography of June, Anais and Hugo helped finance the book but June is displeased with Henry's portrayal of her. And Anais and Henry have many arguments about their style of writing on a backdrop of a bohemian lifestyle in Paris. Henry and June is based on a true story that was brought to the public's attention from diaries written by Anais Nin. Nin is portrayed by Maria de Medeiros, who is the best actor in this film by far, and really saved it from being a forgettable mess. 
In fact, the film centers so much on Medeiros character that you sometimes wonder as you are watching this film, what's so great about Henry and June? Why wasn't the film called A Nice? Number six, Race to Kill, 1980. While taking a shower, Kate Miller, a middle-aged, frustrated New York City housewife, has a rape fantasy while her husband stands at the sink saving. Later that day, after complaining to her psychiatrist Dr. Robert Elliot about her husband's pathetic performance in bed, she meets a strange man at a museum and returns to his apartment where they continue an adulterous encounter that began in the taxi cab. Before she leaves his apartment, she finds paper which certifies that the man has a venereal disease. Panic, Kate rushes into the elevator but has to return to his apartment when she realizes she is forgotten her wedding ring. When the elevator doors open, she is brutally slashed to death by a tall blonde woman wearing dark sunglasses. Liz Black, a high-class call girl, is the only witness to the murder and she becomes the prime suspect and the murderer's next target. Number 5. Belle de Zour, 1967 Severin and Pierre are young, relatively newly married Parisian couple in a comfortable upper middle class life. They are outwardly in loving happy marriage, which belies the fact that Simo often cannot reject his romantic and love advances in the bedroom. He tolerates her rejection in his love for her, although she tells him of the benign situation of her many dreams, she doesn't tell him of the details, which always include he controlling and humiliating her in some form of love dominance. She does not know why she rejects him or why she has such dreams. She learned from various sources that one of her distant married friends, a woman by the name of Henrietta, worked as a prostitute in a high-end brothel which she didn't know even existed, although initially uncomfortable with both the thought and the actual action of having love with strange men for money, Severin is nonetheless drawn to work in such an establishment. In doing so, Severin may be able to exercise some demons in her life, but perhaps not at others' expense in the process. Number 4. The Marriage of Maria Brown, 1979 Immediately following Maria and Herman Brown's wedding during World War II, Herman, a soldier in the German army, returned to active duty to fight on the Russian front. Herman goes MIA, he or his body not yet having been found by the end of the war. The situation of post-war Germany and Herman's missing status makes life difficult for poor Maria, who also supports her long widowed mother with who she lives. Maria uses her cunning and her beauty and feminine wiles to survive. In using all of the above in dealing with men, Maria will do much to get what she wants, including having love for financial gain and to satisfy her love needs. But she is upfront that she will never marry any of those men many who would want to marry her. In her love and memory for Herman, Maria's situation and the primary reason for wanting money changes over time, but her ability to manipulate, especially men for her own gain, does not change. However, one of those men may know more about Maria's life than she would imagine, which may affect she reaching her end goal. Number 3. The Key, 1983 As the rise of the Italian fascism makes its visible presence in noble 1940s Venice, Professor Nino Rolf and his much younger wife, the sumptuous Italian beauty Teresa, sadly after 20 years of marriage, witnessed their enthusiasm with her and the passion when. Inevitably, all that remains now is to let his imagination run wild and confess his boldly intimate and rousing thought to his elaborate diary, in the hope that Teresa will soon find it and read it. There, in his frank and unrestricted confessions against all risk of being judged as a wild and corrupt man, Nero would admit all the things that he would never be able to say in person, urging his goddess Teresa to finally get rid of her painful and revolting modesty. The faithful diary may be locked away in safety, but the precious key is hidden in plain sight. Will innocent Teresa ever discover it and with it the way to unlock what quickens the faint yet willing heart?
a main female character sum up this pile of narrative nonsense at the conclusion of the film saying something like i was faithful by being unfaithful meaning she was compliant in her husband wishes for her to link up with the son in law so her husband could become romantically excited by watching her thus sparking their marriage alive again number 2 odd obsession 1959 almost important battling with senility in vain kenji kanmochi an elderly art critic and esteem antique collector find it difficult to come to terms with his waning virility despite the fact that he is married to a much younger wife the beautiful ikuko as a result to boost up his potential the art expert visit frequently the young doctor kumura who is in a relationship with his daughter toshiko Unbeknownst to the physician, however, that the only thing that sustained Kenji's youth is jealousy. And then, unexpectedly, when Ikuko becomes drunk one night, Kenji will hatch a cunning plot, one that involves his unsuspecting wife, his daughter, Dr. Kimura, and above all, his powers and irrepressible libido. The characters are seen too dark and sick way in this movie, and viewer can't really empathize much with them. These alone make it fight against the very idea of the original masterpiece of Tanizaki. Number 1. Black Angel 2002. March 1945 as Solo Italy. Livia, the attractive wife of Carlo, a top ministry official, slip into the car of lawyer Ugo, her admirer and her husband's informer. She must reach Venice and her lover Helmut, an SS lieutenant, as beautiful and accursed as a pagan god with whom she is having a burning love affair. During the trip, she relives the high point of her devastating love abandonment gone adrift, one that has settled her life and her destiny, swallowing her up in the ruinous vortex of a sybaritic and bituminous Venice, the city in the throes of the final month of the war. is rife with traffickers officials nabobs military brass sacks and adventurers of every kind yet a surprise await livia upon her arrival in venice a surprise in which the hero's own personal defeat interview with those public as historical and political event now seek to settle accounts the androgynous gabriel gacco is new helmet burger and the drop of visconti's art are omnipresent a game without any mystery but nice for the image of a splendid youth that is the recipe of the film